Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing yet another challenge and today we are doing the no brushes, no makeup tools challenge. And this video is in collaboration with my friend Deepika who has a channel here on YouTube called DP Gem. So I'm going to link her channel in the description box below and I'm going to link her video once it goes live right here. So don't forget to check her out. She also does a ton of makeup tutorials like I do. But let's get started. I've gone ahead and done my skincare. So I already have moisturizer, sunscreen, eye cream, lip balm, all of that on. You're ready to start with makeup. So I'm going to start with color correction. So I'm going to use my MAC uh, concealer palette. This is the shade medium deep. So I'm going to start with um, this one, which is the NW40, I believe. So I'm going to use that to color correct around my mouth. I think the most challenging part of this challenge is going to be my brows. How am I going to fill them in? And I'm also using some of this yellow around my nose where I have some redness. I think base products are going to be relatively easy to use with fingers. I'm also taking that yellow over my cheek where I have um, you know, really light acne scarring. I mean the old ones which have faded quite a bit. Now the challenge is going to be how do I powder my face. Okay, we have some pigmentation right here. And then for my this large guy, I think I'm going to use NC42, the second one right here. Just pack it on for now. We will be obviously applying foundation over this. So on my darker spots, I'm applying NC42. It's slightly darker than my skin tone. So it helps in concealing them. Also, I don't know how I'm going to do my eye makeup because <laughs> You guys know that I love doing eye makeup and I always use a few brushes for it. So that's going to be interesting. I'm not going to cheat and just use a cream eyeshadow because that would be kind of easy. Taking some NC42 now over this. You see, just this is just NC40. This is NC40 plus 42. Blends it better with my skin once I apply that. Okay, just taking whatever's left over on my nose because my nose is also kind of red. Now for foundation today, I think I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer, not concealer, foundation. And I'm in the shade Y405. So it looks darker than my face, but it's in the color family of my neck. So that's why I'm using this. Just giving it a good shake. Starting with one pump. Starting with my forehead. Just going to apply a very thin layer because I don't need much coverage on my forehead. And then on areas that I want coverage or where I have applied concealer, I'm just going to pat on the foundation instead of rubbing it in. Not going to worry too much about the scarring still showing through because I will be using my Kevin Aquan concealer. This is taking forever. Brush is so much faster, and same with Beauty Blender sponge. Just going to wipe my hands on a paper towel. Moving on to under eye concealing, I'm going to first use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. I'm just going to let it sit for some time so that it kind of dries up a bit. So using this to highlight the center of my face. 
should remember that I don't have a beauty blender sponge to blend all this out. And while that's kind of drying and setting, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and fill my eyebrows, which is going to be a challenge. So I usually go in for a pencil or the Anastasia de Brow Pomade or some brow powders. Um, today I think I'm just going to use this eyeshadow which I have used in the past for my brows uh, and my fingers are too fat for it so I'm just going to use my nail to carve out my brows. Is it doing anything? Especially having no spoolie is like driving me nuts. So it's not pigmented enough. Let me switch to the eyeshadow I normally use. So I use Brun by MAC. Okay, so I think it's more pigmented. Spoolie, I miss you! My brow hairs have a mind of their own. Okay, I think that's enough for the brows for now. Just a little bit here. Okay, let's finish the second one. My brows look so thick and dark today. I mean, they always look dark, but they look kind of, I don't know, <laughs> extra thick. Look at how disgusting my nail looks. Okay, does that look decent? I think so. I'm just going to leave it like this. Can't be bothered. It's been like, what, 10 minutes just filling in my brows. Okay, starting with my chin. I use both my hands so it's faster. Do you see how much coverage I'm getting just because I waited for a bit? Or 10 minutes, I guess. And in my nose. Oh, this brow powder on my nose and stuff. But there's so much on the... There was so much on the nail and now on my brows. That blended out quite easily. That looks pretty good. Just going to set it with some powder now. I'm going to use my RCMA No Color Powder. Um, just going to take it on my finger. Pat some on like that, and clean with one finger. Then clean. I meant remove the creases with one finger. And then go in with. Wow, I got some brow powder as well. I guess something dark. This powder feels so smooth. I've never felt it with my fingers. The RCMA no color, but it's very smooth. Okay, moving on to the eye makeup. As an eye primer, I'm going to use the Lorac Behind the Scenes eye primer, I believe. So just taking it on my ring finger. This is going to be fun or a disaster. <laughs> How am I going to put eyeshadows to the crease and transition area? I'm going to set my crease area again with the RCMA no color powder. By the way, if you enjoy these kind of videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. I know a lot of you guys had asked for more makeup challenges. So I hope this is entertaining. <laughs> I'm repeating it for this eye. Wow, this powder is really smooth. Now on to the fun part! What colors do I choose for my eyeshadow? Let's go for some neutral colors, shall we? Actually, let me use this palette since I haven't used it much. I don't think I've ever used it on my channel. So this is a palette from Smashbox, which is meant for brown eyes, but anybody can use it. Um, I did create a look using this yesterday and I shared it on Instagram. It was kind of a cooler look than what I typically do. So I think I'll do that today but with no brushes so hopefully it comes out half as decent so I'm first taking this middle shade right here 
to go over my crease and transition area. That looks super pigmented and dark, so I'm going to take off most of it on the back of my hand. And then hope for the best. Still a lot of pigment on my hand. Starting with the outer V and then going into the transition area, crease area. Just working on what's on the back of my hand. Blending it like so. It looks crappy. <laughs> um, I hope that looks fairly even. Mm, next, I think I'm going to use this dark brown shade here on the top row. I'm going to use it on my pinky. Just a little bit. Dab off the excess on the back of my hand and deepen up my outer V. Still working on what's remaining on my finger or my hand. I'm going slightly into my crease, the outer half of my crease. I'm going to run that same brown shade on the bottom lash line, taking it on the edge of the pinky, so not flat here but on the side. Just patting it here and pushing it. Uh oh, it's come too low. <laughs> but we'll work with it. It's going to be a smoky eye now. <laughs> I'm going to take my ring finger and just blend out the edges. And then for the lid, I don't know if I should use this light pastel pink color. It's like this. Just tapping it on the eyelid. And then once we come to the outside, I'm going to switch fingers and just go back and forth there. And then again just pack some more eyeshadow on the lid. It's coming together. I think it looks pretty decent. And then for my inner corner, I had used a Makeup Geek pigment. This is called Mood Ring. And I won this in a contest on Instagram from uh, Selena, Miss Beauty Addict. So I won a bunch of goodies and this was one of them. So, looks like this. It's a duochrome pigment. I feel like I've taken too much but I'm just going to stamp on the inner corner of both the eyes. Then my brow bone looks kind of clean but I think I'm going to use this light shade. Just apply a light, little bit right there on the edges so it cleans up the look. Then for eyeliner I think I'm going to use a brown eyeliner. I'm going to use the Urban Decay 24 7 eye pencil and this is the shade Whiskey. It's a warm brown. Just dusting off the <laughs> fallout. Now I don't think I can use mascara wand because that's again considered a tool. So I think I'm just going to use my Marc Jacobs mascara on my finger, pat it on my finger and then just push it against my lashes in the hope that some of it clings to the lashes. Okay, so I have some mascara. So tempted to just go in with this. Also, the mascara dries up pretty quickly on the hand, so it's such a waste of this product, applying it like this. Oh my god, I think I got some on my eyelid, lower eyelid, yeah I did. I can't even use Q-tip. Okay, that's enough. Not wasting any more mascara on my finger, look at that. I'm just going to run my finger and get some of that mascara that's stuck right there and scratch my lower lash line. That's ice complete, that's amazing. I already feel good about this. So next, moving on to contouring I guess because I can't use powder contour or I will try but I think I'm going to start off with a cream product. I'm going to use my Kiko contour stick. 
Hopefully I can use this, right? It's not a tool. Or should I use my fingers? Maybe I'll just use my fingers. So, just taking some of my finger. Just dotting along my hairline where I normally bronze. Hopefully this doesn't look too crazy. Uh, that's working well. Okay, I think I'm going to use a little bit of this cream contour for my nose. Next time using this Marc Jacobs, um, what is it called, glow stick as a cream highlighter. Let me glowy skin. I think I'm going to finish my lips before I do my concealing. Okay, so today I think I'm going to use a liquid lipstick. I'm going to use my Color Drain Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Cherry Blossom. It's a stunning pink red and I absolutely love this. I just want it because my eyes are so dull today. just want a nice color on the lip. Do you guys see how beautiful the colors that was just with that one or two dots? I'm going to leave it like this, so kind of like a lip stain. Okay, back to my face. I think I'm going to use my Kevin Aquan concealer just to spot conceal a few of my scarring that are still showing through. So I'm using this in the shade SX11. It's just helping me stretch that area. Okay, next moving on to powdering my face. I'm going to use the same RCMA No Color Powder. Just put my finger in and start patting it onto all my oily areas and anywhere I've concealed. So a really smooth powder that's going into the pores, which is good. It's minimizing the pores lightly brushing it or <laughs> rolling it on top of my skin and then just to minimize this spot I'm going over it with the Charlotte Tilbury powder getting some on my finger I'm just patting it there I'm going to pat it on all my problematic textured areas then I'm going in with some powder highlighter right on top of this. And for that I'm going to use this new highlighter that I've picked up from the drugstore. It's by Maybelline. It's the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. It's absolutely beautiful and it looks very subtle on the skin. So I'm just going to take some of my finger like that. Look at that color, it's beautiful. I'm just going to, oops, pat. Some right here. And then lastly for blush, um, I think I'm going to use the shade. It will go well with the makeup but I'm not sure if my fingers will do a light application for it. So I'm just going to take quite a bit and then pat some on my hand. It's too much blush. <laughs> Uh, it's okay, I think I can powder it on top. It's because I haven't powdered the edges of the periphery of my face, so it's kind of sticking there. Or it may be the cream highlighter that I've used. I look like a clown right now. <laughs> Just cleaning up my finger and going back in with the RCMA powder. I think this cheek looks quite okay. I just have to tone down this one. And then I'm just setting everything in place with my Scandinavia setting spray. Hopefully this is allowed because there's no way I can set my face without it. 
so and this you guys is the finished look what do you guys think do you think i did a good job let me know the comment section below this just goes on to show that your fingers are a really great tool for applying makeup so i think other than applying mascara and probably the uh, filling in the brows uh, and then probably blusher as well i think everything else can be done quite easily with your fingers it just takes quite a bit longer <laughs> um, so I definitely value my brushes a little bit more now, especially for certain things that I didn't um, think were that important. Like who would have thought a mascara wand is important or like a brow brush, if that makes sense. Something I liked that I discovered was the fine texture of the RCMA No Color Powder. Very impressive. I hope this was entertaining for you guys. And don't forget to check out the Pika's video, which I'm going to link right here. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Open eye Feel the waves cut through me